The Update 1.10 Common Test is around the corner. It's one of the biggest in recent times. The Pearl River map was revamped. The characteristics of some medium tanks, heavy tanks, as well as wheeled vehicles were changed. A new mechanic to earn bonds with Tier 10 vehicles was added. The in-battle communication system was reworked, and Steel Hunter was renewed. Let's dive into the details. Conducting vehicle balance changes is a constant process. At the moment, it's clear that the performance of some medium tanks stands out from the general pool of vehicles, namely the Progetto 65, the Object 430U, and their Tier 9 predecessors. Now is the time to tame their temper. The Progetto 65 will have a slower turret traverse speed, a slightly longer aiming time, and higher dispersion including dispersion after taking a shot. Similar changes will be made to the standard B. Additionally, you can't equip these two vehicles with gun rammer. The auto-reloading mechanic won't change in any way, nor will the playstyle of these Italian tanks. Changes will also be made to the Object 430U and the Object 430. The armor of the commander's and gunner's cupolas will be less protected for the top vehicle. Also, gun dispersion on the move and on turret traverse will be higher. The balance changes for the Tier 9 Object 430 will only affect gun dispersion. The changes to their characteristics will correct the general performance of these vehicles while keeping their key features. You can learn more about the changes to these medium tanks from the dedicated article on the website. Balance changes to wheeled tanks that at times perform too brilliantly in battle are being discussed. The likely solution seems to be decreasing their maximum speed and acceleration dynamics, while also slightly nerfing their gun parameters. An important change will be the adjusted penalty to speed when the wheels are damaged. The first two damaged wheels will cause a higher drop in speed than before and the vehicle will become slower and much easier to hit. Players will have to play more carefully in the wheeled vehicles now because each mistake will prove more costly. Long-awaited changes were made to Soviet, American, and German heavy tanks. The IS-4, T-110E5, E-100, and several other vehicles from their respective branches will get a second win. The IS-4 will now be more effective on the first line. Its front armor will be improved and the hull and turret traverse speed will be increased. Its top gun will be less accurate, but it will reload and aim faster. Gun dispersion on turret traverse and on the move will be reduced. The other vehicles from the branch, the KV-3, KV-4, and ST-1, will also have their characteristics changed for close combat. The T110E5 will keep the concept of a versatile heavy tank with good armor and formidable firepower. Its accuracy and damage per minute will improve. The combat qualities of the M103 and T32 will improve as well. The E100 super heavy tank will become more resilient. The front of the turret will gain additional armor. Now it will be harder to penetrate its cheeks. The E-100 will also receive a new, alternative gun that's better suited for close combat. It's less accurate, but has higher damage and a better rate of fire. Also, the aiming time for the 15cm gun will be reduced. Other vehicles of this branch will receive new, more effective guns. All of them will have their turret armor improved. You can learn more about the new characteristics of the heavy tanks of these three nations from the dedicated article on our website. Currently, there are several ways to earn bonds in the game. One of the most popular and available is playing random battles in Tier 10 vehicles. But there's one nuance. You can't predict the number of bonds you earn at the end of battle. You can't predict whether you manage to earn epic or battle hero achievements. That's why it's time to change the system to one that's more transparent and predictable. Achievements won't earn you bonds anymore. There weren't many of them, and earning wasn't predictable. In the new system, you can earn bonds in all battles with Tier 10 vehicles, not just in same tier battles. The following rules will apply to random battles. 
Players in the top 3 on the winning team by experience earned receive 7 bonds. Players in the top 10 earn 5 bonds. Players on the losing team will get 5 and 3 bonds, respectively. Every Tier 10 vehicle can earn up to 50 bonds each week. The current number of earned bonds can be seen in the tank carousel above each vehicle. The new system provides a clear understanding of how to earn bonds with your Tier 10 vehicles, while not affecting other game modes and vehicles of other tiers. Players who intentionally earn bonds will appreciate the efficiency of the new system. Communicating with your allies during battle is an important element of victory. The current commands and means of communication in battle don't allow players to exchange information efficiently and effectively. To fix this, we decided to revamp the system of communication between players. With Update 1.10, players will be able to place different markers on the battlefield, signal allies, and interact with friendly or enemy bases. There will also be new commands for the minimap. Location markers will be displayed on both the battlefield and the minimap. Allies can react to such markers, and the number of players willing to support you will be displayed alongside. If someone on your team points out that they're ready to cover you, you can thank them right away. The radial menu of commands will change significantly. New commands will appear. During the pre-battle countdown, the key points will be marked on the map. You can declare your intention to move to a certain position by clicking one of the markers. New communication opportunities will help players effectively coordinate their actions in battle. Go to the common test, try it for yourself, and share your feedback. Now let's take our minds off all the technical details and contemplate something beautiful. The long-awaited Pearl River map returns to the game with a brand new look. It's significantly changed in terms of how it looks and how it plays. The picturesque Chinese landscape will enthrall anyone who is visiting this location for the first time. There hasn't been such a setting in World of Tanks before. Pearl River has a lot of pleasant surprises for tank battle veterans. The main problem of the old map version was its corridor-like layout. This flaw has almost completely disappeared with the new version. The routes are now clearly connected. Wide spaces have replaced the narrow passages. At the same time, there are many ways to flank the enemy. Players have waited for a long time for Pearl River to return, and it will become a new place for tank clashes very soon. The map is available for standard and encounter battles in vehicles from Tier 3 to Tier 10. During the common test, you'll be able to try the latest version of Steel Hunter, which is part of the big expedition for the first time. Five new tanks divided into three classes with different abilities and playstyles await players. Well-armored survivalists, dangerous hunters, and a swift scout. Everyone will find a vehicle to their liking. During the battle, tanks still change their appearance and characteristics, but now there are fewer tiers and fewer upgrade options. It will be simpler to make decisions, but the diversity will remain due to the higher number of vehicles. Go to the common test, examine all the new features, and share your feedback. Update 1.10 will be extensive. This means there's a lot to do during the common test. Check out how familiar vehicles have changed. Explore the legendary Pearl River. Examine adjustments in Steel Hunter. Be the first to try out the revamped mechanics for earning bonds and communicate with allies in a new way. Good luck on the battlefield.